Hello everyone, once again welcome to my OIT channel. Today we will have OIT exam intro special regarding the writing letter which came on 17 December 2022 in some countries. As you know that nowadays there are different question papers in different countries. So it will not be same uh, example. Maybe if you are seeing this video, maybe you will feel that I didn't uh, write this question paper for my exam. So it will be different uh, according to the countries. It can be different and uh, before uh, this video i did another one introspection for the same day uh, it was paul shifton's uh, letter actually this same question paper came during july 2022 so this is like a repeated question and uh, this question actually i have only few um, information regarding the question paper with that we will see the writing introspection so this patient's name actually it is not clear i got only the surname that is ferrin mrs ferrin and she is 84 years old actually this is a referral letter to nursing home manager patient is going to admit they are from hospital from hospital after surgery for follow-up care we are sending this patient to a nursing home and nursing homes name was also it is i don't know and regarding uh, the reader also i'm not sure about the name Anyway, we will see with our um, available information. So this patient name is uh, surname. I will tell you, Mrs. Ferrin, 84 years old, and we are writing the letter to nursing manager for, in um, nursing home. Then uh, the main requirement is continued post-operative care. It's like a continued care, following follow-up care or ongoing care, or we can tell it's like post-operative convalescent care. So whatever the terms, we can use it. So they have given the case note uh, from 2014 onwards. This patient has had, uh, they have given callus or benign. Um, but this patient has undergone benignectomy. So we can write benign. And patient was on hydrocortisone and uh, analgesics, but there was no improvement over this time period. So um, her surgery was planned. Therefore, uh, uh, on 5 January 2022, she has undergone the surgery successfully without any complications. Postoperatively, actually, they have initiated physiotherapy exercises, antibiotic therapy, antithrombolytic therapy and for pain management they have given uh, codeine then codeine changed to paracetamol and that paracetamol have to be continued for six days. Uh, moreover they have given some advice regarding elevation like elevation with, uh, with the help of pillows and um, consequently patient uh, has good progress and ready for discharge today. So as usual today's date is 8 January 2022 and uh, social paragraph they have given that patient lives alone uh, she has one son and this is actually pre let's like a planned the surgery is planned actually bonenectomy it is a planned surgery and there is no one to stay with the patient after uh, discharge to home discharge at home therefore her son already planned this nursing home admission prior to the surgery that's why we are writing letter to the nursing home manager then regarding uh, so pa past medical history, she has had osteoarthritis and hypertension. They have given the hyperten and the hypertensive medication, but I'm not sure about that. Then the recommendation actually they have given, they have to assess dressing, continue the exercise program. They have to issue surgical boot and arrange occupational therapies to assess the ability to live independently because patient is keen to go home. And they have given the follow-up also, but the date um, or after how many days or weeks, it's not clear for me, but just uh, in the sample letter, I wrote two weeks. So this is the overall information regarding this uh, case note. And once again, I'm telling that this information I got from my students, it will be very and it will not be same like what you uh, got what you got uh, during your exam so there will be something there will be some uh, changes in the original case notes so until now we didn't get any official uh, case notes and all so with this one uh, actually this is a simple question right there is no twisting there is no confusion because from hospital after surgery straight away patient is going to nursing home so there is nothing to be worried about this case now this is very simple question paper so we will see how will be the answer like a sample letter so we will start with the date 8 january 2022 and address as per the writing task you have to write here i don't have any idea so i just wrote the nurse manager and the nursing home then dear sir or madam regarding mrs full name you have to write i have only surname for it comma aged 85 then the introduction will be uh, we have to uh, request what is the requirement then we have to write 
what is the current status so i am writing to request post operative convalescent care for mrs ferrin full name you have to write who has undergone left tuberculinectomy okay then she is said to be discharged today so today is her discharge date so we can write more other than that you no need to write anything here i am writing to request post operative convalescent care or you can write continued care or follow up care or ongoing care whatever uh, for mrs ferrin who has undergone left tuberculinectomy she is said to be discharged today so that's all our introduction and next we will move to the present medical paragraph what i told you the same thing only i formulated like a story mrs ferrin uh has had so in this type of question paper i have to inform you that if uh, they have given any old uh, uh, medical history related to our current condition you have to mention here in the starting itself and because this here uh, the minion it is important from when they have diagnosed and what the management she has received until now then you have to go to the surgery okay so we can start like this mrs ferrin has had um left leg minion since 2014 and it was on hydrocortisone and analgesics gradually on 5 january 2022 comma she underwent the surgery successfully so that's enough post operatively comma then what all the management we have given so she has been managed with because antibiotics analgesics everything will be continued now because surgery has finished 5 today 8 of course there will be antibiotics and also i wrote has been because it's continuing So postoperatively, she has been managed with antibiotics, antithrombolytic, uh, the tablet codeine, uh, followed by paracetamol. Okay, paracetamol followed by means first it was codeine, now it is paracetamol, uh, comma physiotherapy, which need to be continued. So which needs means only one uh, verb should be there. Here there are many uh, procedures, not verb, many procedures. So we have to write which need to be continued. so everything have to be continued also coma she has been advised to elevate her left leg with the pillows the such that one also i advise then subsequently coma she made progress and ready for discharge today however coma her son already arranged admission at uh, admission for her at your facility comma follow up care at your service is essential until her complete recovery so that is the main reason for uh the um, uh, reason for the referral because already they have uh, arranged the admission now we are just giving them the information regarding hospitalization that's also subsequently she made good progress or progress and ready for discharge today however her son he can write here since also since her son already arranged admission at your facility for her comma follow up care at your service is essential until her complete recovery so because patient is stay patient stays alone that's why uh he arranged already the admission then next one we can go to the social paragraph mrs ferrin is retired who lives alone they have given is retired also she is retired also she has had osteoarthritis and hypertension since that year also so i don't know exactly the year when uh, it got diagnosed if there is no date given you can just write she has osteoarthritis and hypertension as well as on medication so they have given medication also i am not sure about that then the last is the recommendation paragraph as i told you it would be appreciated if you could assess mrs ferrin's apostrophe s okay uh, because uh, some of students some of the students used to forget this apostrophe s if you are uh, if you think in your mother tongue how it will be without apostrophe s means there is no meaning so don't forget to write this apostrophe s ferrin surgical site and dressing as well as continue her exercise program so you can connect you can connect a recommendation so that the letter will be uh will not be large enough it will be concise to manner and it is easy, easy for you to get score also it will be appreciated if you could assess mrs ferrin surgical site and dressing as well as continue her exercise program kindly arrange her surgical boot and an occupational therapist to assess her ability to live independently as she is keen to go home so here surgical boot and occupational therapist both we need to arrange they need to arrange so we can write it together the last thing is follow up regarding follow up always just try to write please not kindly not or off not off not is all double of off not comma she has follow up visit after this many days so just i kept two weeks or three weeks or one month something like that so we can write or even after five days or something like that so it would be appreciated if you could assess mrs ferrin surgical site and dressing as well as continue her exercise program kindly arrange her surgical boot and an occupational therapist to assess her ability to live independently as she is keen to go home of note she has follow up visit after two weeks 
So this is the sample letter. So as I told you, this is very simple uh, letter. And um, I don't know regarding the old history that they have given any more social histories or uh, uh, past uh, medical histories or any surgical history. If there is surgical history, of course, you have to write because it is a surgical case. And there is no other uh, subheadings and all. There is no uh, no second diagnosis, no second conditions, only bodynectomy. And we are writing the same thing only. So in this way, um, if you practice, it will be easy. One thing you have to remember, something if you have given, we provided to the patient, means always try to write it in the formula. I will tell you the formula. Subject plus is or was plus has been or is or was or has been plus V3 form. That means subject means he or she or patient name. Is means if it's happened today, you have to write is. If it's already happened, it's not continuing now, we have to write was. If it started already and we are continuing now, means has been plus V3 form. V3 form means what is that? Same uh, like initiate means initiated. Same V2 form only will come. That means the past tense only will come. Prescribed, administered, commenced. If it is undergo means the past tense will be underwent. V3 form that is the present perfect will be has undergone so only that is a difference mostly we can see it in our ED letter remaining everything will be same which you formally will come so she has been um, advised for this many things or she was uh, means it's finished already she was commenced on physiotherapy means already physiotherapy section has finished no more if it is continuing means she has provided with the physiotherapy that means which needs to be continued. No need to write which needs to be continued. It's not mandatory always. But if it is there in the recommendation paragraph means you can write it here which needs to be continued. So no need to write the same sentence in uh, your recommendation paragraph. So this is the um, uh, formula for the easy passive voice in OET. So if you follow this um, this formula, of course you will get B score because many of students they lose B score only because of this mistake. They used to write it in another one way. So it will not be suitable for our OET letter. So I hope this letter and um, I mean the introspection and the sample letter will be beneficial for you. We will see with another one informative video. Until then, bye. Take care.